Hva tar du nå? You will see some very familiar terms. Okay, so discount is just a reduction in the price. There was a video to watch, right? Can I see your notes? Did you do more than what the video showed? I did everything. So you did more than what the video said, is it? Okay. Did you do what? Did you do everything? Did I say do everything? Huh? I do a whole notes. Okay, okay. Then let's do. Let's just go through a whole notes. One, two, three, clap for you. They clap for them, clap for them. Yeah. This kind of friends, huh? Okay, uh, exercise three. I think this was uh, covered in the video already. Okay, any questions? Exercise three. No questions, let's move on. Exercise four, any questions? No? Commission. Okay, commission, huh? Okay, so, class. Over here, exercise five. Exercise five. Uh, he received a commission, 1.5%. For selling a condo, 765,000. So just find the commission, just multiply, simple. Yeah, that's a, that's a lot of money because it's 1.5%. So every single percent is can uh, translate to a lot of money. Okay, it depends on the original amount that you're talking about. So next, a salesman, basic salary $750 per month, commission 6.5% for each sale and cycle video. So if the total income was 3558, how many sets did you sell? You can do this with your primary school maths. You can. Simple enough to work backwards. But like I said, I would rather you all use algebra get used to it. Okay, number of sets be x, form one equation, find value of x. Next, GST. How much is the current GST in Singapore? Nine? No, seven, seven. For now, seven. For now, seven. Um, soon to come, nine percent. Okay, uh, next page ready, GST. Now, I need you guys to learn by understanding. Learn by understanding, not by memorizing. Huh? What does GST refer to? Ah, so, it refers to goods and services tax. Not Government, service tax, this tax, that tax, no. It is goods. What are goods? Yeah, goods are the things that you buy. So if I buy this basket, glass, Japan, if I buy this basket, this is a, a type of good, right? I need to pay tax on this. Why? Because it is called goods and services tax. Now, if you go to a restaurant, you order food, then the waiter brings it to you. Is that uh, is there any are there any goods involved? No, are you sure no goods involved? Yeah. Yeah, food. The food is the good, right? So you need to pay GST on the food. But was that service provided to you? Yeah. Yes. Who provided the service? The waiter. Uh, what if it's self-service? Huh? Okay, some of the restaurants, they don't charge you um, service tax. Okay, now uh, we'll come to that later on. Huh? Really? No service tax? Uh, okay, I don't know. Anyway, anyway, when the waiter brings you the food, there is service. And what is this GST taxing? It is taxing the service. So if you look at your receipt uh, when you go to the restaurant, let's say your your food, your food costs ten dollars. Before the GST comes in, there is a service charge already, isn't it? When your food costs ten dollars, there is already a service charge of one dollar, ten ten percent. Okay. So now your food, your goods, plus your service total becomes eleven dollars. 
now the government comes in and says, hey, I'm going to charge you. Uh, your, I'm going to charge you a tax called the goods and services tax. I'm going to charge you on the goods. And I'm going to charge you on the service. That's what's happening. Okay, that 7% is an extra 7% of the goods and the service. Therefore, we do not calculate total bill. Okay, a common misconception. Huh? Total bill, oh, um, $10 plus 10% plus 7%. So plus 17%. Lah. So you take $10 times. 17% that is uh, extra no it's not counted that way it is not counted that way huh? we will learn more about it today okay so um, the mark price mark price is what is shown on the price tag because they mark it out to be as such so that is $240 so calculate he has, what he has to pay if uh, inclusive of 7% GST so our original is the $240 that is our 100% so 100% representing $240, so 107%, which is including GST, will now be 256.80. You can do this kind of calculations yourself every time you go out or uh, you buy stuff. Okay? Am I? No, I'm, getting, I'm just getting a salary. Just, you should add 7% on your salary, so you can get salary. I wish, I wish. <laughs> okay, next one, exercise 8. A bill, okay now, we've got a restaurant ready. $374.50 inclusive of 7% GST. So this value is including the 7% GST already. This will be our 107%. This represents 107, I did not write equal to 107%. Huh? This represents 107%. So to calculate the price before GST means we want the value 100% represented by 100%. So you take 374.5, divide by 107%, then times 100%, you get the final answer. So this number over here is the price before GST, but, but includes CLUD, 10% service charge. Yeah. Okay. Next. Oh, all level questions. Eh, that's all for GST. Uh. Okay, um, since it was not covered, I've got a, another question that I want you to copy down. At, hmm. Okay, at the last page. Page 6. Last page. The price shown on a menu is $12. Price shown on a menu is $12. The price shown, the price, okay, the price of rice. Of a plate of rice, a plate of rice. Okay, uh, pr yep. The price of a plate of rice shown on the menu is twelve dollars. Okay, simple to understand. Why is rice so I just an example that I came out off the top of my head. There is a, there is a, I don't know, a, a lot of good stuff inside, so it's twelve dollars. Okay, next line. Calculate. The service charge. Calculate the service charge. Okay, so in Singapore, the service charge is 10% of the food. Okay, so that's part A. Can you do? Can you do this now? Okay, so right now, service charge equals to. Okay, write down your answer. Yeah, one dollar twenty cents, right? One dollar twenty cents. Oh, uh, I should write the working. So zero point one times twelve dollars. So zero point one because it's ten percent. So we get one dollar twenty cents. Okay. So that will be in two decimal places. 
Party. You've got a method? Okay, come, let's try. Next. Any issues with this? Athletes, best time? Any problems? 8 minutes 33 seconds. Any problem? Or not? Sure, no problem, huh? Okay, then in part B, 10 minutes. Any issues? Any problems? Yes or no? Come on, you must stop, otherwise I think it's okay. 9 minutes 58.5 seconds. seconds huh? Why? Okay, so let's check. Now, part B. Read the question carefully. In 2008, his time, 9 minutes 30 seconds, was 5% less than the best time in 2007. So what are we comparing against? What, is, what are we comparing against? 2008 or 2007? We're comparing to, against 2007. We are comparing with 2007. So the time in 2007 will be our 100%. Okay, and then in 2008, the time is 5% less. So 2008's time is actually 95% of 2007's time. Get it? Okay, we are comparing with 2007. So this will be our representing 100% All okay? So this is our 100% Then 2008 5% less 2008 time Represent 95% So, um, 95% represents 9.5 minutes, 100% represents 9.5 over 95% times 100%. You get 10 minutes. Oh, understand or not? No? What was your working? Let me see. Okay, now compare this with compare this with 2007's time represent um, Two thousand eight time represent one hundred percent. Two thousand and seven time hundred and five percent. Okay, now compare these two. The highlighted in yellow versus ah that's that looks like yellow to you. Okay, compare the highlighted yellow, the two lines, with the other two lines at the bottom. Are they the same thing? No, they are different. I've got 100% and 95%. Whereas the last two lines, 100% and 105%. So I emphasize it over and over again. Okay, the two lines are different. Okay, so 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 the two lines are different. 95% versus 100%. So this is wrong. Mm -hmm. right, you can't even see it. 
Phoenix 2A. 3 over 35 as a percentage, uh, no problem for that. Do not round off, huh? exact, leave it as exact. 70 and a half. So 70 and a half over 100. So 7 over 40. Okay, now Barry, he has a bag of marbles. 3, 8 are red, 70% of the remaining are yellow, the other 12 are green. How many marbles all together? Um, o level question, I think you can do it in primary school maths also. La. Okay, now fraction of the yellow marbles is just 70% of the remaining, or 5 out of 8. So this is the fraction of yellow. Then fraction of green, just do a subtraction. Um, get an answer, find the total number of marbles, and get the answer. Okay, straightforward. Huh? Anybody needs to go through? Anybody? No. Next. Okay, last question on this uh, set of notes. David's car insurance, 565 for one year. He can, oh, he has option. He can pay the total, or he can make 12 equal monthly payments. And the, char the company charges 7% extra if you pay monthly. So find the amount of each monthly payment. The extra percent, the extra amount is 39, 55. So just add it, divide by 12, get the answer. 50, 38. Simple.